Tobi is the most famous archaeological site in Macedonia, one of the most famous archaeological sites from the Roman period in the Balkans. It has a very long history of archaeological activity. It goes back to 150 years. So now you have more than 20 monuments that you can see here at Stobi from the Roman and the late Roman period. And what we're looking at right now where we're standing is the magnificent theater of, of Stobi. So this is a, a grand building which served for as an entertainment venue for the population of Stobi, which at this period was around three to 40,000 people. So usually what, what, what was performed here were theater plays, but also this theater had special architectural features which enable it to accommodate gladiator fights and animal fights as well. So Stobi does not have an amphitheater, but the theater was used as a theater and an amphitheater at the same place. At one show or games, there could have been around 7,000 people who would sit at the seats at the theater. An interesting thing when we're speaking about the gladiators and what took place in the theater is that here at Stobi we have a virtual reality experience. So every visitor here can schedule his virtual reality experience where with VR goggles, He'll be seated at the theater in some of these seats and you'll have the whole theater reconstructed. So you can turn left, right, see the audience here and then you'll have, you'll have the pleasure to see a gladiator fight in the middle of the orchestra. It's not bloody, it's just more like sportsmanship, <laughs> like wrestlers. <laughs> well, Stobib was the largest, uh, the largest city in the north of the province Macedonia. And later in the fourth, fifth century, it became the capital of the newly formed province Macedonia Secunda. And at the same time, in the early 4th century, in the first half of the 4th century, it became a bishop seat at the dawn of early Christianity. It's not just about Rome and what happened at the Italian peninsula, but the Roman Empire was <laughs> all exactly. over yeah. Europe and, and North Africa and, and West or Asia Minor. So uh, studying all these small cities can give us the idea of how people lived in this city. So it wasn't all the rich people living in Rome, but there were rich people in rich cities outside Rome as well. This here are the remains of the oldest Christian church in Macedonia. We call it the old Bishop's Church. It was built somewhere towards the end of the 4th century. And what you can see here are the remains of the original mosaic. You can see different fields with different patterns, which are donations from different people. The patterns are repetitive from a city to a city. The craftsmen or the artisans who were doing the mosaics would have had these patterns and then they would do it. The artisans, they can do the mosaic at one place then travel to another and do it again. In some of the rooms that we found, we discovered large vessels, uh, storage vessels, and they contained usually grain, wine, olive oil, and so on. But also there was a, a workshop where a blacksmith used to work. So he did some, uh, probably produced some iron tools and, and so on. This is the, the temple of the goddess Isis and her divine couple Serapis. One thing for sure is that they were uh, worshipped here in the second and third century. Isis was the goddess of marriage and fertility. On the back side of the temple there is an entrance to two underground chambers where some of the mysteries related to the cult of Isis took place. How to get to Stobi? Well, there are a couple of ways to, to get to Stobi because Stobi is really easily approachable. First of all, we are located at E75 highway which is the corridor that connects the north and the south of, of Europe. So everybody who goes to Greece has to pass by Stobi so you can stop here. Also, we have a train station here at Stobi. We have also the, the railroad going from north of the Balkans to the south of the Balkans. Uh, the best ways that people use is to get by plane to Thessaloniki or to, to Skopje. From Skopje, you can get to Stobi for 45 minutes, 40 minutes by car after that. Or from Thessaloniki, this time would be double around an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Stobi is located uh, along the Varda Valley, but at the same time is located in what is called the Tikves Valley. And it's the most famous wine region in Macedonia. It has long tradition of, of growing wines. So there are plenty of wineries right here. One of the biggest wineries in Macedonia is the Stobi Winery, located just five kilometers to the north. There is another winery that we have only 250 meters from the site, the Lazar Winery. And then we have the Kavadarci, a famous town in ex-Yugoslavia and in Macedonia for the wine, where we have the largest Tikvish winery. And there are also plenty, many other smaller or larger wineries in the area. So there's plenty to do and plenty to consume here. Many of the wineries besides wine tasting, they offer food and even uh, accommodation. So a person can have some good time, good time here. My favorite wine is uh, Rosia Fortuna. It's a new wine uh, who uh, make Lazar. 
Uh, Lazar is our enologist and uh, he makes the, our wines. Now we stay in a new, our new vineyard. Uh, this is the Tamjanica. <laughs>